books online in under six minutes. So let me first start by stating the obvious, which is if you have absolutely no idea what QuickBooks Online is or never used it before, this six minute video is definitely not gonna be enough. However, if you're in a hurry and you want to get a good idea more or less of what QuickBooks Online is, this video is perfect for you. Check a link that I'm gonna put in the description below where you can set up a 30 day trial. And if you decide to sign up for your own business, you will get a 50% discount for the first year. I promise you it's the best deal you can get out there. Okay, let's jump right into the program. So general navigation here on the left hand side, you see the left navigation bar that can be collapsed by clicking on the three little lines. So if you want a little bit more real estate, you can collapse and expand that here on the right side of the screen, you get a gear icon, which allows you to go into the settings, chart of accounts and things like that. You also get access to the search box, which allows you to search existing transactions and also see the most recent transactions that you have created. There's also the quick create button, which is that circle that allows you to get a menu of all the transactions you can create here on the homepage. When you go into the dashboard, you get a quick analysis of your uh, in income expenses, bank balances, profit and loss and sales. This is what they call the dashboard to actually get into creating transactions. Normally what we do is we click on the quick create button and then we go straight into the transaction we want to create invoices is pretty much one of the most common things that people want to do in QuickBooks. You click on uh, the area where it says customer to select the customer you want to invoice. You select the date of the invoice. You select here where it says products and services. You get a list of uh, items that you create in your database. These are the services you provide, the products that you sell. You pick whatever um, item you want to sell. You type in the description what the product is, whatever it happens to be. You put the quantity of how many you're selling, the rate. It will calculate the total amount for you. Optionally, you can charge uh, sales tax. If you have sales tax set up in your system, QuickBooks will calculate sales tax on your invoices and calculate your total sales tax that is due for the month or the quarter, whatever type of ar arrangement you have with, uh, with the state. You can also create your expense transactions by clicking on the same quick create button. You can create bills, for example. These are expenditures that you're going to pay later. Uh, same uh, type of process. You select the vendor that uh, sent you the bill. You select the date of the bill. You select the term. So if they give you 30 days to pay, it automatically calculates the due date. You can enter the bill number, which is the invoice number from your vendor. You can select uh, the expense category of the transaction that you're purchasing from that vendor, whatever it happens to be. You can also type a description. You can add multiple lines. If you have a bill that contains multiple lines from your uh, chart of accounts expenses, you select the amount of each of the expenses. If you happen to have multiple, you can also mark your expenses billable. So if you plan to take an expense and, uh, get reimbursed from your customer. QuickBooks allows you to do that. You can also assign expenses to jobs so you can get a profit and loss by job. Um, other than uh, creating the bills, you can also pay bills in batch and print checks. If you actually have uh, pre-printed checks from your bank, you can print uh, one check at a time or multiple checks as you're paying these bills. QuickBooks also has uh, the ability to create purchase orders and track basic inventory. There's actually multiple versions of QuickBooks, one that doesn't have inventory and one that does. I will have other videos in my channel that kind of go into the details of what each version of QuickBooks is, but you can create a purchase order uh, just so you can create a bill and that purchase order um, can contain the specific products that you're buying. And then once you receive that from your vendor, you will convert that purchase order to a bill. And of course, uh, pay that bill eventually whenever the payment comes due. You can also enter your banking, which arguably is one of the most powerful features in QuickBooks. When you click on the banking tab on the left side, what you do is you connect your banks and credit cards with QuickBooks. It downloads in a daily basis, all the transactions that go through the bank, and it gives you the ability to uh, select a, an expense category for each of those transactions that have been uh, downloaded. So for example, we have this mahogany mugs is my, our vendor. And, I, and this is uh, something that we spent maybe with our debit card. And simply we go in there and select the, the type of expense uh, category that we want to use. And then we click on add and that simply brings it from the bank into uh, QuickBooks in the same banking area. You're going to see transactions that match. So if you're creating things in QuickBooks before they clear the bank, for example, you're creating bills and printing checks. Once they clear the bank, QuickBooks will actually recognize by dollar amount and by date, all those transactions that are already in your books it allows you to match and clear the transactions that were created beforehand. So this banking feature is incredibly powerful to enter new transactions and match it to existing transactions. There's also bank rules, which allows you to program how you want the bank uh, to behave, uh, how you want QuickBooks to behave based on the banking transactions and the name of the payees and the descriptions to automatically categorize things for you. So um, after a couple of weeks and a couple of months of using QuickBooks, you will notice that banking becomes um, a lot more automated. You can also uh, take a look at your overall sales and track all your open invoices, overdue invoices, that sort of thing. 
All invoices can be emailed from QuickBooks automatically to uh, to your customers. And you can even send uh, reminders if um, they haven't paid you or maybe you want to just gently notch and say, hey, you still owe me um, uh, from this invoice. Now, the report section are also arguably one of the awesome sections inside QuickBooks. Allows you to pull the most uh, important reports, such as a profit and loss. And very common, we pull a profit and loss uh, by month, for example. And that allows you to sort of see the financial health uh, of your organization over a period of time. Now, another great feature of QuickBooks Online is you can connect with your accountant directly. So you can have a direct collaboration with the accounting professional once that's connected into QuickBooks. It, it's also a multi-user system. So you can, uh, here in the gear menu, you can click on Manage Users and you can add multiple users uh, to work in your QuickBooks Online simultaneously between uh, one to 25 users, depending on which version of QuickBooks you have. And it also has a uh, great customization in terms of uh, changing the way an invoice looks like when you print and review it. There is a uh, default template for the invoices, but there's some flexibility in terms of adding your logo and colors of what that invoices would look like. So that is QuickBooks Online in a nutshell. Hopefully this is enough to sell you on the idea that it's an absolutely great software. And if you're gonna sign up for a free trial, use the link in the description below. Thank you.